Hey, Hoosters, how y'all doing on this Sunday? I was called out by Arabian's World to cook my Sunday dinner. She wanted to see how I cook, so here we go. So look, today we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be doing some um, pork bones in the oven with white potatoes. So this is what we have right now. They're already washed and cleaned. We're going to season them. So uh, we're going to season them with some um, beef bouillon, black pepper, salt. We're going to use some adobo all purpose. We're going to use both garlic and onion powder. I'm also going to sprinkle in some of my favorite Greek seasoning and a little of Laurie seasoned salt. I'm going to be really easy with the salt, y'all. So look here, I'm a, I, I season very heavily because um, I like my food to smell like it's already cooked. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and I'm going to sprinkle some of this uh, beef bouillon and I do the beef bouillon for color. But also, I'm going to come back uh, after I let these cook down. Uh, and I'm going to also add beef bouillon in my uh, flour water as I pre prepare to make that gravy as well. But these are going to have to cook down for a while. So uh, we'll just sprinkle everything on it and we'll get them switched around. And y'all, I I I, uh, I don't measure. <laughs> I season by look because I've been cooking for many many years. I'm sorry about that, but also cook to your desired taste because I do cook for mine. And, and I'm gonna tell you again, I I season very very. See it already, it already smells like it's cooking, and I'm I, that's 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 the truth, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to oh it smells good. So, I'll get these mixed up really well. The oven is heating up as well. We'll let these, so these are able to stick for a moment. I've already cut up the potatoes to add after I let them cook. I let them make their own juices. I do not put no water in here either. So, but we, right now we're going to, uh, look at that y'all. I'm going to show y'all what, what, what seasoning is supposed to look like. Let me get them right up in here. But let me, uh wash my hands okay so I'm out, I've also pre-cut some onion garlic and bear pepper as well to put over this this is how it's supposed to look when it's seasoned look at that mm -hmm. so I pre-cut so I'll go to the refrigerator and I'll pull out my board that I use because I'm also uh, these are the onion bell pepper and garlic that I'm going to sprinkle over this right now Y'all, as y'all know, I learned how to cook when I was homeless. And, uh, yeah, I would never forget that. Man, that actually took time with me to teach me how to cook and still go to school. Washing my clothes out every night, you know? By hand, that is. You know, back then in the day, uh, where the poor, pe poor people lived, uh, we had those uh, clotheslines out back, which I thought was the best uh, air dried clothes as well. Made your clothes smell fresh. Y'all, this the garlic. Oh, that looks so good. Look. Look at that. Going in the oven. I take that back, y'all. I'm gonna put a 
maybe a cup of water just at the bottom. And y'all know this that old school roasting pan. Y'all know that uh so this is gonna be ready to go in the oven at 400. I'm gonna cook it for an hour and 45 minutes. I will take it out at that time. And I'm gonna add the white potatoes that I did cut up. And I'm also gonna make a solution for the gravy with uh, some uh, seasoned flour. And I'll show y'all how I season the flour. And, and of course, add some more beef bouillon in that as well. This is gonna be a really good dinner. So now we'll work on the rice. Y'all know how I say I like my seasoned rice. So we're going to switch spaces over here. I already have the water in this pot. Uh, we're going to do two cups of rice. So, you know, it's always two to one. I have four cups of water I'm about to bring to a boil uh, over here. And, um, well, right now, this is how I season my rice, okay? I'm going to use chicken bouillon in there. And I think, you know what I'm pouring in my hand? I think with two cups of rice, I'll add a palm full of bouillon. Yeah. And I also pre-cut... Some onion, bell pepper, and garlic also to go in that rice. And we'll, because we want this to boil down, we want these to kind of soften up before we put the rice. So when the rice get in the pot, it's going to cook together with all those flavors. However, we're going to, oh, excuse me, y'all. We're going to also add seasonings to this as well. So we're going to put in the onion, bell pepper, and garlic. We're going to also add in butter. I'm going to, I always use smart butter when I'm doing my boils, uh, dip, and when I do veggies or rice, yeah, as well. So, let's, so let's get the, let's get this pot in there. I just heard the timer, so, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, it's good and hot in there as well. I'm going to set my timer, I'm going to use my rooster, I'm going to set it on one hour, and then we're adding potatoes and all that other good stuff, so I'll have to come back. But let's get back to this rice. So now, in this pot, I have a, a palm full of um, uh, chicken bouillon, powder bouillon, that is, that's all I use, and uh, I put in the onion, the bell pepper, and the garlic. Now... I'm going to freely add in some pepper, black pepper, that is. I'm going to add in some onion powder. And I say I have a teaspoon of each, onion powder and garlic powder. I'm going to add the salt once the water comes to a boil, y'all. But let me go, oh, that smells so good. Let me go ahead and get this butter in here as well. So when I put that rice in there, uh, it'll be ready. So we'll bring that to a boil. Okay, so while we're waiting on that water to come to a ball, uh, once again, at that time, we will uh, add the salt. Okay, so let's start working on the green beans. Now, we're going to do two cans of green beans, and I've also already pre-cut the onions and the garlic for the green beans. Now, I have some bacon thawing out. I'm going to fry that bacon. We're going to drain some of that fat off. But if we're going to leave just a little bit in because when we throw in the onion, 
we want them to soften them with throw in the garlic. And so also, uh, I always use Del Monte. I never use the juice out of this can. I always rinse my green beans as well. So we'll wipe this can, get it open, and we'll get these drained and ready. Y'all always rinse my uh my cutter off as well. You don't want that uh, juice and stuff to hang on it and uh, contaminate your other tops. You know what I mean? So I always get that washed off. All right, yeah, I'm gonna rinse my beans now, y'all. Alright y'all, my bacon seems to be a, a little a thought out good enough, so we'll get the scissors. We're going to bring this can over here so y'all can see what I'm doing. We're going to bring this on a, a medium high so we can get this bacon crisp. I'll just use the leftover bacon tomorrow when I'm cooking breakfast. I'll fry up some bacon, but we'll get some of this cut up now. You know, you can use salt bacon if you want to. It was just good for me because I already had bacon. That's enough. <laughs> Y'all smell good in here. Really, really? Okay, we got the water boiling for the rice. Let's go ahead and add our salt. And now let's get our rice in. And y'all know rice cooks for 20 minutes. So now that we got that stirred around, it's up to a full ball. Let's go ahead and cut that on medium. And we're going to let that cook for 20 minutes. And I'll set the timer up here. There we go. That's the rice. One down, one in the oven. Now, I hear this uh, bacon. And you know what? When my when the bacon is uh is frying, y'all, I like to add just a little bit of pepper to the bacon. 
No salt, y'all. I kind of season in layers. So just a little bit so it can taste like black pepper bacon. Because <laughs> it's already got some honey in here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let that brown really, really good. Um, and... I'll get these dishes ready to go in the dishwasher. Do y'all rinse y'all uh, dishes before y'all put them in the dishwasher? Okay, so for the green beans now that i have drained that uh that juice and washed those green beans when i get ready to add them to the pot i am also going to add in some chicken bouillon as well because when i add the butter and uh, the uh water uh, i want it to be like chicken broth because I, I looked in the cabinet and i don't have none so we got to make it you know the original way before they even made the, uh, the broth I'm glad I'm doing this, y'all. Now, I still, I still need to do that, um, um, the fresh blue crab one, one when they get some back in, y'all. Another lady asked me to do a, um, crab, a blue crab, uh, boil, so... Uh, cooking things, so I'll do that as well. I don't know, y'all. I may start doing me some cooking videos because I think I'm pretty good at it. What you think? Comment below. That bacon smells good. And all I have had was that boiled egg this morning. And I'm thinking, like, while this food is cooking, what in the world am I going to eat? That smells really good, y'all. So, uh, And this bacon really ain't making a lot of grease, but we're going to drain some of it. I do not like my stuff uh, greasy. But let's take back out this butter for the green beans. And only seasonings I'm going to do on the green beans is salt, pepper, garlic, and garlic um, powder. And that, that's and just a sprinkle of uh, seasonal. That's it. So we're going to put this adobo back up. Well, because I'm only going to put salt and pepper and beef bouillon in my flour mixture for the pork, bone, pork, pork bones. Can y'all smell the bacon? <laughs> Now, I like my bacon in here semi-crunchy. Don't get it too hard, okay? And I'll take a piece out when I get to where I want it to be to show y'all what I'm talking about. I'll let y'all just see it in the pot. How about that? And I believe I'm going to have some water. Y'all, I saw this morning. Uh, okay, y'all, this is where I like my bacon to be. Just like this. Let me see if y'all like this. So we're going to pour some of this grease out. We'll get this back on, and uh, we will now add the onion. 
and we're going to add in the garlic a little bit later because we don't want our garlic to burn, okay? So we'll add in the chopped onion for right now and get that translucent, translucent and then we'll come back and grab the fresh uh, garlic. But we'll get those onions in right now. And we'll also add in the butter. Yeah, that smells good already. The next video will be me eating this good old goodness. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Now I'm going to add in the chopped garlic. And I'm only going to let that cook mm, a good minute. That's all. Because now I'm going to add in those green beans. And then I'm going to get them all mixed up in here. That garlic, you know, fresh garlic is the thing now. You know, garlic powder does this thing as well. You know, what you call it, dry garlic, that other kind of garlic, I don't know. But yeah, I don't buy that. Oh, that smells good. All right, yeah. Let's dump these green beans. Now, I'm going to get these stirred around because I want them to get all that butter and that bacon and all that other stuff. Now, we're going to add another uh, palm full of chicken bouillon. We're going to put a little salt. pepper. We're going to do garlic powder. And I'll say a, a, a tablespoon because y'all I love garlic powder. And I'm going to add just a hint of Lowry season salt. Then we're done with that. Oh, well, why not? The Greeks, I love Greek seasoning, y'all. It really does something to your food as well. It really is good. All right, so this we can put up because only in the flour mixture am I going to uh, only add uh, flour, black pepper, salt, and uh, powdered beef bouillon. And, of course, you know, I'm going to put this seasoned salt back up, y'all. So I'm about to add... A cup of water, a cup and a half of water in these green beans, and we're gonna just let them simmer for yeah, a cup and a half. We're gonna let them simmer for as long as the rice is cooking, and the rice have nine minutes to go, so a good ten minutes uh, for the green beans. We'll just let these cook down. Man, I love vegetables. I, I was thinking about doing some uh, smothered okra, but I thought, you know, I had smothered okra two weeks ago, and then a week before that when Nikki cooked some smothered okra. I was like, yeah, you know, but then my mama, uh, a mother also gave me a bag of uh, of, uh, of fresh yellow squash as well. I'll probably do that with some chicken, y'all know, y'all already know. I saw Judy cook, uh, Carwell cook, uh, uh, some Korean fried chicken. Now, I'm going to show try that, y'all. I'm, I'm add it with some onion rings or some noodles. That's what I'm going to have with. All right, y'all. Look here. Everything else is now simmering. I'll be back when I get ready to make the gravy for the pork bones that are now cooking in the oven. Hey, y'all. Back again. The, tur uh, the, uh, Pork bones have been now cooking for an hour. Let's take them out and see what they're looking like because now we're going to add the potatoes and the gravy mix that I'm going to mix up. So, 
Let's open the oven to see what they're doing. Y'all, you don't never want to leave your oven open because it loses its heat, you know? So we'll see. Ooh, y'all got to, ooh, y'all got to see this, right? This is what you want them to look like. Oh, my God, and the gravy here that's made. Y'all, I may not add anything to this. This looks so good. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Yeah, so we're going to take a, a fork and we are just going to poke the meat and it's getting tender, but it's not as tender as I would like it. But so what we're going to do now, we're going to put these potatoes in. Now, I'm going to sprinkle a little salt and pepper on my, on my potatoes, y'all. Because, you know, you always want to season in layers. Because you always want your food, uh-oh, to be tasty. So don't be shy. I don't, you know what, I don't want salt on there. Yeah, I'm going to put some onion powder, pepper, and, of course, garlic powder. You know, season the potatoes up. Now, I'm going to put these in here. Can y'all can y'all see? Oh yeah, y'all can see. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that just looks so so good. Yeah, I told y'all, whenever God decides to give me a husband, he gonna love it. Let me wash my hands, y'all. Uh-oh, that's what potato. All right, so uh, now we're gonna make the sauce, the, the gravy. Okay, so I'm going to start with, this time I'm going to measure y'all. But still, you know, I always eyeball. But I'm, I'm a, if I'm going to do these cooking videos, I better measure. So I think I want to do, this is a tablespoon. Mm, I'm going to do three heaping tablespoons, y'all. Of flour. I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. Just a little salt, y'all. Don't, don't ever over salt. Just a little salt. And I'm going to add in uh, some of this uh, onion powder and garlic powder. And I'm also going to add some more beef bouillon in this as well. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use a tablespoon of this as well, y'all. All right. Let's get that stirred. And now we're going to get it soupy with some water. I'll be back. Because you know you want to get them lumps out, y'all. As best you can. <laughs> and it's okay to taste it, y'all. Try to get all them lumps out. That see, see the color of that. This is uh, how you want it to 
to look y'all. So we're going to pour this over. I'm going to taste it though. Oh my God, that's good. Oh my God, that's good. That beef bouillon, honey, does a lot of things for oven gravy. I got all the lumps out best I could. So y'all, what we're going to do, we're going to pour this over. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to add just a little water, y'all. Just a little. And I'm going to let y'all see. No more than that. I don't want no more than that. So we're going to let this cook. We're going to let this cook for another hour, and maybe hour in. We're going to make that cook for at least another hour before you start to check for tenderness. I would say an hour and 30 minutes, okay? But this is what you want it to look like when it start, go, gets back in the oven. This is the finished product, y'all. Thank y'all for watching.